All right, guys. So in the previous video, we learned how to create our very first spider. And in this video, we are finally going to run that spider, which we created in the previous video. But before we get started on that, I just wanted to discuss this yield keyword that we didn't discuss in the previous video because we didn't have enough time. You can think of this yield keyword as the return keyword that we usually use inside a method or a function. Now, why exactly do we have to use this yield keyword instead of just using the normal return statement? This is because yield is usually used with a generator and this generator is being used by Scrappy behind the scenes. Now, I won't go into what is a generator in Python because it's not relevant to this video series, but you just need to remember that you are supposed to use the yield keyword instead of the return statement inside your spider or inside the function that you are going to be putting in inside the spider. Now, the process of running the spider that we have created is really, really simple. Now, if you are using PyCharm, you can just open up the terminal over here and this is going to take you to the Scrappy Tutorial Project folder with the virtual environment activated. But if you're not using PyCharm and you're using something like Sublime Text, then you have to open up the command prompt or the terminal of your Mac or Linux OS. After you have opened it up, make sure that you are inside the Scrappy Tutorial folder and your virtual environment is activated. After that, you have to go inside this quote tutorial folder. So we are going to do that. And after we are inside the quote tutorial folder, now we can run our spider or crawler. To run it, it's pretty simple. You just write scrappy and then you write crawl and then you write down the name of the spider that we have created. So over here, we have given it the name of quotes. So we can just write quotes over here and this is going to run our crawler. Now this is going to give us an error that says no module named win32 API. And if this crawler is working fine for you, don't worry about it if you are not getting this error. Uh, if you are getting this error, then you just have to follow what I am doing. So as you can see, it says module not found win32 API. And over here you can see it says from twisted. So whenever we installed Scrappy, it also installed another package known as Twisted and that Twisted package requires this Win32 API that is not currently inside our project. So what we can do is we can just go to File, go to Settings, pretty simple, go to this plus and over here you can just write Win32 API. You can just write Win32 and uh, so we have to install this PyWin32 library or package then you can just click on install package and this is going to install pywin32 for you. Now, if you're not using PyCharm, you can just write pip install pywin32 and this is going to install the same thing for you guys. And after this package has installed properly, you can go back to the terminal. We can just click on OK over here and let the two processes run for a second. And after all the packages have been installed and all the processes have been run, you can just run the same command again and you'll see that you'll be able to scrap it without any problems. So over here, our uh, website is being scrolled. And if we just scroll it up a little bit, you'll be able to see that the title text with the title over here is being extracted properly, but it also contains this title tag with it, which we don't want. So what we can do is we can just write text over here. So after this title, we can put in two colons and we can tell Scrappy that, hey, we just want the text inside the title tag and nothing else. And then we can just run our uh, program again. So over here, we can just scroll down and just scroll down a little bit more and over here we can just write again the same thing and press enter and this time you will see that we will get our text without the title tag and if we scroll up a little bit again as you can see it says our key that is the title text and now we have this quotes to scrape in a list over here so we have successfully scrapped the website and we have scraped the title of the website to be exact so in this video we learned how to run our crawler or how to run the spider and we also learned the meaning of this yield keyword. So in the next video we are going to be learning about something known as selectors and we are also going to be looking into the scrappy shell. So I'll see you in the next video.